see this right here? Look. I need to speak to Hakeem and Semi right now. We got McDowell's right here at Cherry Hill Mall. You know what I mean? I need to talk to the manager though real quick. Mr. McDowell's eating good. I think that's the owner right here. So uh, I'm gonna assume that Mr. McDowell got his liquor license to be serving beer out here. You know what I mean? So Mr. McDowell moving on up. So my man out here, he is a trooper. Look at him. Say what's up, man. What's going on? He got on shorts, t-shirt, and his brisk out here. <laughs> what did you order? You order a Big Mick or you order uh, uh, the Beyond? That's the Big Mick. <laughs> you, to, you better order the Big Mick. Gotta get the Big yeah, Mick. Yeah, gotta get the yeah. Big Mick. Sure, that's not too bad. I, lo I love your outfit. Okay, uh, you're from McDonald's, aren't you? I am. Get out of here. I am. <laughs> that's hilarious. Hey, where's my boy, Hakeem? Peace, everyone. Welcome to another episode of JL Jupiter TV. And in this episode, I visit McDowell's. Don't mistake it for McDonald's, all right? McDonald's, they got the Golden Arches. McDowell's, they got the Golden Arcs. They got the Big Mac. McDowell's got the Big Mick. They both got two all-beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and onions. But their buns have sesame seeds, all right? McDowell's does not have sesame seeds at all. Stay tuned for the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And let's go check out this whole McDowell's pop-up experience. What's up, bro? Watch you, man. I appreciate it, man. Yes, we go where you go. Oh yeah, well we here now. You know what I mean? Yeah. We talk get the Beyond Big Mick or something. Where are we? Well, yeah, I don't remember what they were. It was such a long time ago. I just wanted to come here, honestly. Yeah. yeah well, we spots we pick. Yeah. Well, I appreciate yeah. it. I'm not perfect, but you know. I no, try. no, you do, you do. We like where you go. I try, yeah. I try. Taste wise, we're on the same level. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're yeah. What you what's up? We actually we see you all every day. Okay. I appreciate it, man. There we go. Yo, this is definitely 80s vibe. She did say it was gonna be 80s vibe, and it's like. I don't remember the 80s being like this, but I guess so. Some pictures right here. What we got over here? What we got? Oh, we got the throne. Look at the throne. Look at that. It's alright. <laughs> oh, snap. Look at this. Now that's funny. Good work out there, man, for food, man. Well, I appreciate it, bro. Put a lot of small businesses on the That's what I'm trying to do, man. Yeah, it's, okay. it's a damn shame what they did to that dog, man. <laughs> Yo! They got the uh, Mc, Mr. McDowell's office right here. They got the throne over here. They got the, uh, oh, it's the janitor, the mop over there, too. y'all young bucks remember this right here but you get apple juice in the carton i got a uh, kids happy meal for my baby you know what i mean let's get it right to it let's get to the big mick um off the eye test alone i don't know what this is i don't know this is definitely not gonna be a game changer it's far from a game changer man but hey, McDowell, Mr. McDowell, I ain't hating on you, player. Get your money, man. You know what I mean? Get your money. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is the Big Mick, all right? I don't know when the next time I'm ever have a Big Mick. It's probably once in a lifetime. Bro, it's, it's, it's like, the patty's definitely thicker than a Big Mac. I don't even think they made this back there. This is like delivered from somewhere else. Probably would have been more enjoyable if it was hot. This has been sitting. I 
I came here mainly for the experience, not the food. So. Oh, this is the milkshake. I mean, I spent for the milkshake, can of Pepsi, the drink, these two, I spent like damn near $100. Oh, and I got a t shirt as well. Come here for the experience. Come see the decor and everything they did to this place. Mr. McDowell. Gotta do better though. Gotta do better. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Tell me what y'all think about coming to America too. What y'all think? There's a kid's meal. Cold fries, chicken nuggets. Let's see chicken nuggets. They call it the chicken chunks, not the chicken nugget, all right? This is actually pretty close to the McDonald's chicken nuggets. There's a McDonald's down the street. Let me find out y'all took that. This is definitely not about the food. This is about the experience of coming over here, so. Yeah, that's it. They could, they could at least got the old school Pepsi, though. You know what I mean? Cherry Hill Mall. You guys want to come experience this? I don't, I don't think they're going to uh, do a Coming to America 3. So if you guys want to feel nostalgia, you want to come through for the experience, definitely recommend it. I don't recommend the food at all. Coming to America 1 was a classic. Coming to America 2 was... Uh, nobody asked for that, but at the same time, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at that at all. I'm not mad at that at all, but... This is cool. This is going to be a fun-filled event, man. I really... People coming here prepared. There's going to be a lot of people coming from, from the Tri-State to come try this out, so... You know, all the experience for 100 bucks. Mmm... It's okay. It's okay. I'm out of here, y'all. I'm gonna drop this right now. It is 11:40, Friday, the 16th of April. I'm gonna head home right now and edit it and drop it and let me know what y'all think. All right. See y'all in a little bit.